Welcome to the second in a series of videos to help you use DimDim as a tool for broadcasting what's on your screen to others who you've invited to a web conference meeting. Um, this certainly is useful for many types of meetings such as club executive meetings or uh, any kind of training that would take place that needs uh, interactive interactivity. So as you can see I've gone to the uh, DimDim website and you can stop this video at any time as we're going through. This is meant to be uh, your guide to actually setting up a meeting. Go on to the DimDim Dim website. Instead of setting up an account, which we did in the last video, we're going to go to press Start Meeting. Now This is actually somewhat mislabeled. It's actually a setup meeting. But we'll press that button. And we come to the logon screen. So we're just going to use the same test rod account that we set up before and enter in the password and we're going to sign in. Okay and you can see there's two meetings scheduled already. What we're going to do is host a meeting. So we're going to your the, the person doing this is actually going to be the host of the meeting. So we're going to host a meeting and you'll get three tabs here. We're actually going to go to them in reverse order. So press on the dial-in tab and because we're not having any audio or video in this session, we're going to disable that. So that will be off and this is only going to be a session where we're using DimDim Dim as the screen broadcast software, in other words the web conferencing software. So that feature is off. As you can see, there is no audio or video because we set that up as our preference. Okay, there's none. And we're going to set this meeting up for an hour. Let's just say the meeting's about 45 minutes, but we anticipate it may go, may go over just a little bit. So we set it up for an hour and make certain that this computer screen is on, which it should be because we've set it up as a default. Uh, that's important because that's going to be the main thing you're doing. You're going to be broadcasting your computer screen. So we've set it up for one hour. No audio, no video. And we go to general. Now we could start the meeting right now if we wanted. But let's not do that. Let's schedule a meeting. And let's schedule it once only. Today. And let's schedule it for one o'clock today coming up in just over an hour. And it's Pacific time and you can just leave this material here the way it is. And let's just say it is a club executive meeting. And who are we going to invite? Well we're going to invite two people. We're going to invite contact at E-W-O-L-I-V-I-N-G and you put a semicolon and then a space after that. And then we're going to invite Rodney at EWO living.com. So we've invited two people. And we're going to use dim dim. This indicate this button here indicates we're going to use dim dim as the emailer. So it's going to email an invitation to these two email addresses. And you can ignore the host key and the meeting key. They're not relevant for this. So let's just review it. We've scheduled it for 1 o'clock today. And that is Pacific Standard Time. It's an executive club meeting, or it's a club executive meeting. We've invited two people. There's going to be no audio or video. And there's going to be no dial-in. And we can now just schedule the meeting. So the meeting's been scheduled. All the participants have been notified by email. Would you like to schedule another meeting? No. And there we go. Okay, it's already scheduled right in there. And that's it. So now the emails have been sent out. And at 1 o'clock, or close to 1 o'clock, you need to come back in here 
to the Dim Dim website to activate the meeting, but that's for another video. And all we do now is sign out. We're back to the main screen, or almost the main screen, and that's it for this video. Now you've been able to set up and invite people to a meeting that will take place at some point in the future.